Welcome to your upcycle item STEM challenge. Uh, you are going to be an engineer for this project and you are going to need to solve a problem. And remember, engineers are creative problem solvers. They work in teams and don't give up. Your group will be going through the engineering design process to solve the problem. Now the process is going to look like ask, research, plan, build, test, and share. And you will have criteria. A criteria is a guideline for a design project. It is your group is required to meet the criterions to complete the challenge and your teacher will give you the criteria. The constraint. So a constraint is a limitation or restriction. And some examples of this are time. You only have 30 minutes to build, for example, or resources. Your teacher may say you can only use four items for your design. Now, your group is asked to adhere to these constraints for the project. So what's the problem? Well, it's your best friend's birthday and you don't have any money to buy them a present. You know that they care a lot about the environment, so you decide that you find items from around your home to turn into a very awesome gift that your friend can use in their everyday life. So your upcycled item will be made out of materials or products that have been used up and they're ready to be tossed in the trash or recycling. But you don't throw them away, you upcycle them. And as you remember, upcycling can make a difference every day. So you need to create an upcycled item to use in your home or in your friend's home. Here are some criteria for the design. Your upcycled item must be made out of materials or products that could have been trash or recycled. Another is materials are used in a different way to create something new. And lastly, your upcycled item must have a purpose. Your design will also have constraints. Um, here are some three that you can adhere to. You will have 30 minutes to build your design and you can have up to seven materials and you're not allowed to use tape or adhesives. Now this may change according to your teacher and their desires, but these are some design constraints. And so the first part of the process is ask. In this step, you will write down what the problem is you are trying to solve. How will you accomplish it and what and how will you be successful in this project? Okay, once you do that, you have to go and research. Engineers do this all the time before they build. You need to think about what you've learned and what you could do more research on the internet. What do you know about upcycling everyday items that can be thrown away? What other ideas have you seen that other people have built? Next, you plan. You can plan with your group mates or if you're working alone, you plan uh, by yourself and look at your ideas. You will have to look as a group to choose which idea most fits the design challenge. And if you're working alone, maybe you can create a few different ideas and choose the best one. Make a sketch of what the final product should look like and write down what materials will you need? What will the steps for building be? This way, once you need to start building, you have a ready set plan to get started. Next is build. In this step, you look at your plan, what you've created, what you've built, or what you've drawn out, and you follow through with it. You and your group mates will partake in building it. And if you're alone, then you will build it on your own. And then you test it out. Does it work how you want it to work? What are some of the observations? What does it look like? And you can jot down some of these observations down. Lastly, this is when you share. If you're in a classroom, you will share your um, upcycled item to your whole class with the presentation. If you are at, uh, working alone, then you can simply uh, share it with one other person of your choosing. And some questions that you can ask is what can be improved? 
and what design decisions were effective.